this four string up to a D to Yeah, oh, did I have mine down to C? Yeah, I think so. Very diplomatic way of saying the wrong thing. <laughs> Clawhammer students who are just learning how to drop thumb yeah. this pattern. So to use this this roll, I think of it as a roll, but that's because also I'm a three finger player yeah. at heart. Yeah. And then with the left hand, it's just fret three and fret two on the first string. phrase is just a hammer on and then a pull off. Yep. I'm with you so far. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and then just does that one more time. So the first two things are Two things are that. just the A part all over again. Again, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So, so then do that again. Yep. Yep. Now the last phrase is uh, one of my favorite uh, ending licks, I suppose. Right. Is uh, yeah, that's cool. Let so me, let me hear and see that again. So with this modal tuning, I just put my fingers on uh, fret four and three on the left hand, strings two and one. Yeah, so start on the open first string. And again, you're using that same right hand pattern. And then this last bit is. Yep, and then. actually really it's pretty simple but involves a couple of double uh, involves a double pull off so start here third string second fret pull off and then hit the fourth string third fret and then pull that off and then yep I guess I actually don't do a double pull off in the way that I was thinking but yeah. it's just two pull offs almost in a row so pull off pull off and I kind of use uh, I, I'll, this is where I'll use uh, you can use that same ending that we did in the A part yeah. um, or you can simplify it by by just omitting that uh, yeah, yeah um, there's that, the, omitting the E Right. Right, right. 
And it really is just that three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> change it up for myself yeah. and I just do that same lick but an octave higher which involves going up to fret 7 on the first string yeah exactly And then I cool. uh, another another ending idea where uh, I start here. Uh, Keep it pretty straight on okay. that. Well, there you had some other stuff in there too. I think you were all over the place, weren't you? Yeah. All right. So one of my favorite, one of my favorite licks, is one of the, is also one of the simplest. So back in the A part. This one I probably do the most. Just nice. a little bit of chromaticism in there. Yep. Yeah, I love and that. Then, yeah. <laughs> a little blues, a little blues for it. Exactly. <laughs> and even in that in that part, the hammer on and pull off part, the the second phrase. Something, something as simple as a. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. exactly. Yep. And then of course you can Some little things the, that make the difference. Uh -huh. Now I think I saw you when you were performing do something even. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Is a kind of a I'll get probably another thing from the three finger world yeah, where yeah. Ju you're just putting in some some lick to get from the end of a phrase or yeah to get from the end of one phrase to the yeah. start of another. So so the, for that you're fretting the fifth again. Yep. Yeah. Um, do, do, do. Lick itself starts, yeah, on the first string, seventh fret, then up to the ninth fret, and then tenth fret back on the first string. So the right hand's just rocking back and forth. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and then after, and this is where it gets a little kind of really cool and a little crazy, but now I just I just hit the first string here, so I'm about to hit. The, use my thumb again so while I'm hitting the first string my my uh, second finger here needs to slide back yeah uh, oh, cool. uh, so my fingering is important because I wasn't doing that so you, your second finger for this one mm -hmm. uh, yeah a little awkward if you're not used to fretting the fifth yeah, yeah. Yep, and, and then there's a slide down from here. Again. 
Uh, no, you actually just keep your keep everything where it is. Uh, and then you yeah. Uh, Once you go back down, uh, you right, left. Right. Yep. And then open fifth string, and back make your way down. I'll get it. I'll and then when, when you land down there, that's the start of the next A phrase. Uh, that's the downbeat of the A phrase? Of the right A there. phrase, yep. yep. So try to put it in context. See. kind of licks on the mm -hmm. hammer. even when people play melodic it's usually more tune based that, that mm -hmm. I like that there's a, a melodic hammer player who lived in Alaska when I was up there and I watched him play once and that really kind of helped sway me into playing yeah. pursuing uh, a life and a love of hammer because <laughs> I, I didn't have a full appreciation of the of the style until yeah. then I said wait you can you, you can do that <laughs> <laughs>